Hello my friends and uh, welcome back. Today I want to talk about uh, delusion. And delusion coming from your own uh, uh, false interpretation of reality. And that could occur for various reasons. Uh, one of the reason they are the reasons uh, could be the fact that you have an uh, ideology you have your own inner uh, desire to view world in a set way uh, not based on reality but based on wishful thinking and uh that's delusional when you would uh, discard the signals, the uh, outside uh, stimuli coming to you or you, but you give a different, um, different uh, meaning to those signals. Uh, I know I had a friend from England, Jamie, who uh, exposed me to a movie. Uh, it was a parody of Jesus Christ and uh, uh, it was a scene over there in a movie where you had this guy who because of uh, misunderstanding the masses who were waiting for a Messiah they were waiting for signs to identify who Messiah is is Messiah with us waiting for Messiah in the Middle East you know in Israel area in Palestine and uh, this guy, the uh, main character, he does something, I can't remember exactly what, and uh, he's just, uh, uh, the masses identify him as Jesus Christ somehow, like a wonder, something happens, a miracle. And he says, I'm not Jesus Christ, I'm not Messiah, I'm not Jesus Christ, I'm not Messiah. But nevertheless, the masses, because they want to believe, they believe this guy is Messiah, ignoring all the other uh, evidence that, provided to them that would uh, contradict the idea that he is the Messiah and they follow this guy these guys try to run away from the masses from the mob and then while he's running he loses his um, flip-flop or whatever sandal and the masses one of the guys from the masses pick up the sand picks up the sandal and says look he gave us a sign what is a sign actually the guy just ran so fast from these guys they just lost his sandal but these guys being in their uh you know the del delusional uh, state of mind with a mindset they thought oh he left us a sign look guys looking at the little sandal just a regular sandal that was the reality that that guy left because he was running away from running away from them so obviously they give interpretations to certain uh, actions behaviors based on whatever they want, the goal they want to reach or their uh, interpretation of the reality. Um, you know, in, in the art of war, uh, it's a very dangerous uh, business uh, because you, if, if you make, you're delusional, you're going to die. You're going to lose and there's going to have a very, very uh, definite impact on your life and well-being. You can be delusional. That means uh, when you go to fight uh, as an individual or as an army, you have to make sure that you have the most accurate uh, information that you can get from the opposite, uh, from the enemies. Like to know their position, their strength, their military uh, officers, the, the tactics, and so on. Study their history. and So, on. so you have to have that very, very clear information and as accurate based on reality not on your ideology so you can say oh who are those those are blah 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 oh blah 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 i don't like that name they must be losers there you go or oh who are they oh pff, we beat them before so pff, we shouldn't even care how many are there oh they have half of our army pff, we should just roll over them it's not like that where are their what are their locations what are their you know, positions military positions oh that 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 oh not even any you know that they can't be over there because i don't know the sun won't shine over there or something 
and you know, according to uh, Sun Tzu, you know, the uh, ancient Chinese uh, warrior who wrote the art of war, he said, you know, the art of war is the art of deceiving. So you have to deceive. You know, pretend you're not what you are. So the uh, you know uh, the opponent, the enemy, has the least information on you as possible, or to have the uh, deceived information of you. They they have the wrong information. So they plan for a different reality that you have. You expose a reality, and then actually you are different. Well, in order to do that, you also have to have the, um, a good training. You know, I mean, you can't say I'm. I'm just gonna portray it. You're weak, so they don't, don't get portrayed or they don't get prepared to face you. But when they face you, you're really weak. Uh, you didn't accomplish anything, so you have to be strong, but pretend you're weak. Or in instances, you pretend you're strong, but actually you're weak. But you have to take advantage. You're not gonna engage the enemy if you pretend you're strong and you're weak, because uh, you know bluffing goes as far as a bluff is going to. But then you, you face the real situation, you're gonna, you know, get lost. So, um, why I made this little introduction regarding, uh, um, um, you know, self, uh, self delusion is because there are certain things that uh, need certain steps. You can't, you can't miss a step in certain um, uh, activities that you would uh, engage in. Um, you can't just have an ideology and ignore facts and evidence and data because you're gonna somewhere you're gonna fail. So I'm gonna give you an example of building a a house. You can be as you know innovative as I know as anyone else. You can have a great imagination. You have open mind, you know, way of seeing things and so on. But in order to build a house, there are exact steps that you have to take in order to accomplish that endeavor so you start with the foundation right i mean first you scalp you you know you uh, uh go and look at the location you dig the location you make the plans and so it's uh, then you uh, you know um, start with the foundation and then walls and then the roof and then so on so you can start a house with a roof you know you have to survey the, the area, you know, you have to uh, flatten the area, you have to plan the, uh, the future house, you have to calculate a lot of things before you start. You can just start, oh, let's build a roof. I'm going to bring the shingles, I'm going to put on a roof. So you can't do that. And once you have the basics, then you can improve here and there, you can innovate. But there's certain steps, A, B, C, or one, two, three, that you have to follow. And you can't fool yourself. You can't just, uh, oh, I'm going to make this foundation like this because I like it. It sounds more uh, inclusive. Well, the whole project will crumble. crumble. So you have to be base your knowledge and your project on reality, on physics, on mathematics, on uh, other scientific you know, uh, areas that you get information, the right information. So in this case, I want to talk about uh, in, uh, uh, Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin uh, was appointed, you know, as the successor by uh, then uh, former then President uh, Boris Yeltsin, and um, he became president in 2000 and so on. And Russia was very very weak. And these guys from the West, I'm going to talk about American. They looked at Russia as being you know, under under their con their control, and which was, uh, you know, they were the big boss, uh, so the supply. They did whatever they want for the past. I don't know. 20 years almost, 15 years, 20 years, but they ignored Russia, its development. They say they are backward people, Putin is an ex-KGB, he doesn't know anything else, he's a thug, these were the, the names attributed to this guy. And uh, Russia did not develop, they don't have weapons, they have a rusty army, no nuclear, no nothing. This was, we are the best. And that's a uh, delusional way of seeing things. And I don't understand why these statements were made, because there were people who really know the reality. They didn't have a voice or something. So uh, it's just a uh, an, an example. Uh, Russia has a, a lot of natural resources that this planet will need at one point, which is gas, you know, which is uh, 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 plutonium, 
which is uh, um, oil, uh, they have all this that the world needs. An industrial uh, society economy will need all those resources, which Europe doesn't have. Doesn't have. So a good relationship between Western Europe and Russia is very uh, needed. It's needed. It has to happen. So you can't really anger anger Russia. Now Russia, uh, now the United States has a different situation, you know, where it could afford living on its own with its resources. But they sacrifice Western Europe for their own interest and in having a better relationship with Russia so they keep a balance. Thing is, and uh, it was a, I'm going to just look, uh, check my phone because I already looked at a, uh, an, an article. It, actually, it was a, uh, a meeting in uh, 2010, uh, somewhere in Europe. Uh, you can check it on YouTube, for instance, and it says 2010 Europe and Putin laugh about uh, getting hit from firewood. Or you can go and check, for instance, uh, Prophet Putin in 2010, you don't uh, want gas. Uh, then uh, get some wood from uh, for heating from uh, Siberia. So this is what it was. Putin came in, came in front of these uh, Western European big shots who were laughing, looking at these guys like a like a like a circus, like clown. And Putin said, "Well, you gotta we gotta have a good relationship together. We have to develop together. I, we have the resources. You guys give me the te technology. We can cooperate." These guys were ha ha ha. And Putin said, you know what, looking at the European leaders, you don't have gas, you don't like uh, uh, atomic energy, you don't have oil. How are you going to heat your houses? Are you going to use wood? And he said, even for wood, you have to go to Siberia to get it. And everybody was laughing, thought it was funny. Putin was that serious. But this, the guys were looking at him as an ex-KGB, funny little peasant talking to them, Western European guys, all there, but nothing here or here. And look what happens now. We're in 2022, and if Putin does this with gas, he's not going to die. But the Western Europe is going to, is going to. Who's going to provide him with gas and energy? So we're in 2022, what he said in 2010 is available now. So you see a self-delusion. Self-delusion gets you to this situation where you can't act and you're at, in a bad shape with Russia as a Western Europe. So you can't really say anything about anything about Russia right now. Instead of making good relationship, creating good, you know, uh, bilateral relations, economic and cultural and so on, even strategic, military strategic uh, uh, plans with these guys. Now you're on an enemy uh, situation. And... It's like you get the water from the neighbor and you're arguing with the neighbor. The neighbor is not going to give you water. You're going to die. What are you going to do? You don't even have the weapons to make him give you the water. But there you have it. You have this, uh, this delusional elite who talk tough about Russia and talk about other things without having a, a, a complete or more, uh, more understanding on the, on the issue. And they are blinded by their ideology, their nobility so-called, their situation, their wealth, and they screw up themselves, their nations, their countries, when instead they should have just assessed the situation in a realistic way. This is the case with, of Romania as well, who's a, uh, we don't want to talk with Russia, we don't want to talk with Russia. What are you going to do? Who's going to give you energy? Germany, United States, France, Ang England? No, they don't have it for themselves. How in the hell? So you can, you know, bark the ide ideological shit that you bark, Romania. The fact is that you're going to be dying because you don't have resources. Okay? You're going to be dying slowly. So the same thing with these guys in the Western Europe. What are you guys going to do? Unless this guy, Putin, dies and you take over somehow. Which th that's the plan. But you got to still wait until he dies somehow. Well, stay strong, stay uh, uh, smart, look for the truth, and uh, look for justice. See you next time. Ciao.